today I'm going to share what we use to study the composer. I've been using for a few years now this curriculum here. It is the Great Musician series of music appreciation and they have two main books um, and then they suggest studying these composers here for the elementary grades and then this one here for the middle grades. First we'll look at book one. So far we've only used book one. Um, my oldest is in fifth so we have not yet done anything from book two. So first you have your table of contents and here if you follow their um, suggestion you can see that they spend four weeks with each composer. You have an introduction. These books here are more than just studying a composer. Um, they also include, well, they have lots of hand-on activities. They have geography lessons, history lessons, recipes, instrument studies, music vocabulary, handwriting, musical facts of the classical period, timelines, character trait studies, and so much more. Obviously, you can use them however you'd like in your own homeschool. We have not done every single activity that they suggest. So normally, we only do a composer study once a week, and um, we do a lap book. So we don't write in these books. You can, for example, here, there are comprehension questions. Then there's character qualities, tidbits of interest, and then here it's a hands-on activity. This normally goes with the lap book, places that Bach visited. So you can see there's lots of information, learning about stringed instruments. So that would be the activities for week one. So along with this book, there are also, um, you could see, there's the music CDs, the music lap book CDs, and then these are the books that come with book one. Then optional, there are coloring pages, and here's a bingo game you can play together. So we don't have the coloring pages and we haven't played this game. We do have all the books, the lap book CD and the music CD. Okay, so this is the lap book CD and what I did is, you know, you put this in your computer and you're able to print out all the pages that you are going to need if you want to create your lap book, which we have done. And here are the pages, I just printed them out. Um, we have used a lot of them already, so they are not all here. But here in the beginning, they have examples of what the lap book would look like. And then, after that, they have the pages that the kids will be cutting out and gluing onto the lap book. And this is the music discs. So in the books, there's reading and every once in a while you'll come um, to a part where there's a song that they composed. So then it, it will tell you what page and what disc, not what page, <laughs> what disc and what track to listen to. And they come like this. There's several of them. Okay, another thing I would like to say is for us, like I mentioned, 
we don't do every single activity in here because you know there's so much more that we also do so normally um i will pull this out when we're doing you know when we're doing our composer study the main thing that i like to do is the character qualities so they always show the character qualities of that composer that you're learning about and i really like those i like my kids to hear that so that is one thing we do for sure the questions if you'd like um we if the times we have done the questions we just do them orally another thing we might read are the tidbits of interest here you could see there's a recipe we haven't done any of the recipes so far, but that's an option if you'd like. And here there's an experiment you could do if you'd like to do that as well. So there's actually a lot of stuff in these books. Here you see there's copy work. And then you learn about the specific time period that that composer lived in. Okay, so for book one, these are the books that come with this guide. All of the pictures are in black and white. So there are no colored illustrations, but they're, they're still pretty nice. So this one is Schubert. Mozart. This one actually was um, scheduled with one of our Heart of Dakota guides, so that worked out great because it was already scheduled in our regular um, schoolwork that we had to do for the week. There's Paganini. We're going to be learning about him this coming year. Bach, Hayden, Handel, and Beethoven. So as you can see here, it tells you disc five, track 24. So I really like the way that is set up. Book two is a little bit different. So you have your introduction, and like I said, book two is recommended for the middle grades. Here you see that in this book, they also include geography lessons, history lessons, recipes, instrument studies, music vocabulary, musical facts of the classical period, timelines, character trait studies, and more. So that part is all the same. Um, and then here is where things change a little bit. Um, so you have the books. The books are like the other books, um, just different composers. But the lap book, um, this one no longer comes with a CD for you to print your own pages. This one you have to buy the lap book separate. And let's see, they have coloring pages also you can purchase if you'd like. And then the music is also different. There is no longer music CDs. So what they have now are these QR codes. And it recommends you, um, well actually it says you need to download the app. That way you can have all the music that goes along with the book. So I purchased all of this from Rainbow Resources and they do sell the lap book and this is exactly how it came. It's just stapled together and then it has all the pages that you will need to complete the lap books. 
here you have scope and sequence. This is the music. And here you have the schedule, week one, week two, week three. It tells you what chapters to read, what pages to do. And the activity pages. These are the comprehension questions, character qualities, tidbits of interest, vocabulary words to learn, there's um, some family history, recipes, there's even a brief history of Poland in this one. So, lots of information. Okay, and the books that come with this activity book, um, I believe it's Schumann. I'm not sure <laughs> how to pronounce some of these names, but here's this one. Foster, the young Brahms. This composer has two books. He's the only one for some reason. So this one is about the early years of his life and then this one is the later years of his life. McDowell, Wagner, and Cosby. <laughs> I'm not sure if I said that right. Oh, there's two books about him. This one is the story of of his life, and then this one focuses on the Nutcracker Ballet. So this would be a good one to read during like Christmas time. I'd like to show you some of the lap books that we, my son has created. The covers for these um, we printed online. They were not part of the lap books. They Actually, there are different covers that come with the lap books if you rather use those. And this is just some examples. And this one's really cool. It's also very long. I think I, I tied it together just um, to store it. Let's see. So each one of the, these little cards just has different information. Exactly the same. Um, each lap book has looks different, has different types of flaps.
So each one of these dollars has information on the back. And this one is the one he has been working on. He's actually not completely done with this one. Probably finished this during the summer. He only has a little bit left to add. Here you see he's not finished. So that's all we have. I hope this video was helpful to anyone looking into composer studies and into music appreciation.